as the pace car pulls off. And they're on the throttle out of turn four as the green flag goes in the air. McKennedy trying to get the jump down into turn one and Kobe trying to stick with him. Meanwhile, on the bottom row, there's Chuck Hosfeld and Bobby Santos, who tends to be there at the end. And he uh, does it again in that number 36, but can he make it stick down there on the bottom? Kennedy leads down into three. Here comes Santos with a strong run down on the bottom in the number 36. Tries to work uh, the underneath of Doug Kobe, but again, gets stuck down there on the bottom with nobody with him. That outside row just motors on by. Santos trying to make it work down on the bottom of the racetrack. McKennedy the leader, Hosfeld second. Kobe for third, Matt Swanson is fourth. And they are moving all over the backstretch. Again, trying to... Uh, break the momentum of the other cars. Here come the leaders out of turn four. McKennedy again. Hosfeld has Kobe with him. And Matt Swanson watches from the fourth spot. Santos was able to get up in line and pulls up behind Matt Swanson in the number three. John McKennedy looking for career win number two. Won the opener at Myrtle Beach in 2018. This will be his second career win, and what better place to get it than uh, arguably the most spectacular racetrack that the modified race at. McKennedy drops to the inside. Kobe looking for the outside. Here comes Santos again. Santos continues to work that bottom groove. A little bit of contact there with Kobe, and Santos takes over the second spot. What a move by Santos in the 36. Bobby Santos not afraid to drive it in, and that's what he's been doing, making his time on the bottom of the racetrack, and he wasn't about to be muscled by Doug Kobe that time either, as they actually made a little contact out of turn two. Score Santos in second place. He's going after McKennedy. Kobe's trying to come back. He goes down underneath Hosfeld to take over the third spot. Down the back straightaway now. John McKennedy showing the way, looking for career win number two. First ever at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Throws the block on Santos. Santos having nothing of it. Drives to the inside, takes over the top spot. Doug Kobe right there in third. Do you want to be leading on the final lap or do you want to be second? Where do you want to place your race car? Going to the final set of corners of this event. Six laps to go. Santos leads the way. Santos uh, out in front. We talked about the conservation of the race car that Santos has and comes on late in the race. Here comes McKennedy with a move down underneath. Can he make it stick? He does. Pulls up in front of Santos. Santos goes right back to the bottom. And follows McKennedy as Kobe looking for some running room along with Hosfeld. Here comes Santos again down on the bottom. Makes the pass on McKennedy. Pulls up in front of him out of turn two and will lead him down the backstretch. Bonson, you are working on the inside. Kobe, big move, right of it off the front bumper of Hosfeld. McKennedy back to the lead, Hosfeld to third. Bonson, you are working the inside on Matt Swanson. The front six or seven absolutely battling it out here. Boy, that could have been disastrous. Kobe just uh, went towards the wall on the backstretch, but was able to gather it back up. They were nose to tail, bumper to bumper. And uh, luckily, they came out of it unscathed. Santos continues to lead, but he's got the Kennedy all over. And here comes Kobe back again. He gets around Hosfeld. Coming to three laps to go at the stripe here. Three to go at the stripe. Bobby Santos showing the way because he want to be there. McKennedy drops to the inside, drives to the inside. He'll take the top spot back from Santos. Kobe right there in third. Is he playing possum there? Is he showing everything he's got? Chuck Hosfeld would love to win his final trip to NHMS. McKennedy throws the block on Santos. In the meantime, here comes Kobe on the outside. Boy, when uh, McKennedy went to throw the block on Santos, he left the, the top open, and Kobe was trying to fill that hole. Boy, oh boy, there they go down across the stripe with just two laps to go. Here's McKennedy down underneath Santos one more time, trying to take the spot away. Santos hangs tough up on the outside. They're side by side out of turn two and down the back stretch. McKennedy back to third now. Santos out in front. Second is Kobe. Third is McKennedy. 
Off of turn number two. We will see the white flag. One more trip around. Santos in the 36, trying to take the win for the injured Dave Sapienza. Yeah, Bobby Santos trying to make that car about 18 feet wide as he heads down into uh, turn number one. He'll lead him on the back stretch, and oh, he gets a shot from Kobe. Is able to keep it under control, but can he keep the momentum? Here comes Hospel down underneath Bonsignor. Santos has made it back around Kobe for the lead. Here they come to the stripe, down to the finish, checkered flag in the air. Santos will win it. McKennedy will be second. Unbelievable. Doug Kobe for third. Chuck Hosfeld will be fourth. Justin Bonsignor, Bonsignor finishes in fifth. Rounding out the top ten, Matt Swanson, Rob Summers, Chris Pastriak, and Gary Putnam comes home in the ninth spot. Tenth will be Craig Lutz. Well, we've talked about Bobby Santos and his strategy in the past where he drives a conservative race, saves the equipment, saves the tires, and then really turns it on at the end of the race. He's done that so many times. In fact, he did it to win three in a row here at New Hampshire in the past, and he does it again today. Finally gets the Dave Zapienza car to victory lane. They have come close a couple of times, and this time, as he's only a part-time ride for him, he does it right. But I'll tell you, there was a lot of elbows being thrown there in the last couple of laps. Yeah, that was a uh, wild and crazy finish. And uh, we talk about, you know, 250 laps being a ho-hum affair. No way. Two years in a row comes down to huge excitement at the end of the race. Top five or six there duking it out, coming to the stripe. What a race at the end. And uh, as you said, Bobby Santos, part-time opportunity in this 36 car. Dave Sapienza got hurt in that uh, hard accident at Wall Stadium earlier this season. Has put a couple of different drivers in this car. And Bobby Santos going to drive it to victory lane as he pulls down to where Joe Koss is waiting for him uh, in the infield certainly knows his way to victory lane it's win number five at new hampshire he did none the others in the uh, the tineo car that he was so fast in for so long that team not running the 2019 season and uh, santos ends up subbing for uh, dave sapienza and, and believe me he'll uh, get a big hug from sapienza in uh, victory lane for sure as uh, he has pulled it in to victory lane and they are Pretty happy, as Bobby Santos will. You know, he keeps busy uh, running open-wheel cars in the, the southeast uh, and uh, in the Midwest, and he's won a lot of big races in uh, uh, sprint cars and midgets, and he certainly has been getting very long, and now he adds another win to his list as he picks up uh, a very prestigious race, the most prestigious of the season. For the NASCAR Wheel and Modified Tour, the Musket 250 here at New Hampshire. And once again, a race that does not disappoint. Not even a little bit. One of the uh, more exciting modified races of the 2019 season comes in the longest race at the biggest racetrack. And uh, anybody who doubts anything about the show that the Modifieds put on at this racetrack, there are people that say on a cup weekend that these Modifieds put on the best show of the weekend. And uh, I think they uh, I think they may have uh, cast their vote for that here this afternoon. And uh, tough break there for McKennedy. Really wanted that one badly. He and uh, crew chief car owner Tommy Baldwin just couldn't quite close the deal at the end of the race. Yeah, that was a tough one, but they're all right there for sure. And uh, as we said, uh, it becomes a little more defensive when you get to that point of the race. Uh, you try to use as much of the racetrack as you can. We said on that last lap, Santos wished his car was about 18 feet wide because that's what he needed to hold those guys off. They were coming, but played it just right. And uh, it was uh, just a game of inches there, particularly coming around on the last lap for uh, Santos to pick up the win. As we said, John McKennedy comes home second. Doug Kobe for third. That helps him with his uh, point lead leaving New Hampshire. Two more races to go, both Stafford and Thompson. Chuck Hosfeld for uh, fourth. Justin Bonsignor was fifth. Matt Swanson was sixth. Robbie Summers was seventh. Chris Pastriak was eighth. Gary Putnam comes home ninth in the 77. Craig Lutz, whose day started out uh, on the downside, was able to come back and finish in the top ten. Calvin Carroll, who we saw in the wall uh, just uh, the last caution or so, uh, he uh, comes home 11th. Woody Pitcat was 12th. Timmy Salamito, 13th. Andy Sice, 14th. 
Timmy Colorado, 15th, and uh, Wade Cole for 16th. Blake Barney, 17th. Sam Ramo, of course, uh, out of it with that accident, will be credited with an 18th place finish. Then Burt Myers also out of it, and J.B. Fortin finishes 20th.